Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Myra Chen, and I'm your host and moderator for today's webinar. Here at eLotus, we have been hosting educational courses for over three decades, and we are so proud to be your trusted source for premium CEU content with over 200 speakers, 700 courses, and 3,000 hours of CE. We really appreciate you all being here with us today. Today's webinar is Clinical Success for Autism, ADD, ADHD with Dr. Jimmy Chang, sponsored by Evergreen Herbs. Dr. Chang has over 40 years of concentrated clinical experience from treating over 500,000 patients, specializing in differential diagnosis and herbal prescription. Today's sponsor, Evergreen Herbs, is the perfect partner for Dr. Chang as he strictly purchases herbs directly from them for the past 30 years. His pharmacy has over 150 single herbs and formulas combined. If you're interested in starting a pharmacy just like Dr. Chang, you can order his Evergreen Herbs webinar special and receive 15% off on the herbs he currently uses in his clinic. This special includes formulas such as his famous astringent complex, herbal ABX, and various classic formulas and single herbs. I'll send a link in the chat room for you to check out. This class will be presented in a similar fashion as his previous classes, so I will explain Dr. Chang's webinar for our new students joining us today. His formulas will be listed as Fang Jia Fang style, meaning formula plus formula. In addition, he will write a percentage after a formula to indicate its ratio in the formula. Dr. Chang typically prescribes his patients 100 gram bottles or 150 gram bottles if they are not local or if the disease is chronic. Dr. Jimmy Chang, a widely known figure in TCM, has been instru instructing at eLotus for the last two decades, contributing to a substantial array of courses on our platform. For those interested in more pulse diagnosis, we suggest also enrolling in Dr. Chang's comprehensive Pulse Synergy 1, 2, and 3 course series for foundational pulse diagnosis knowledge. For our new attendees joining us, let me familiarize you with our webinar room. Please set your chat from host and panelists to everyone. That way, everyone can be part of the conversation. To ask questions during the webinar, use the Q&A box so that the questions remain separate from the chat room. And lastly, the quiz. The quiz for CEUs will be available the next business day late afternoon for everyone with qualifying attendance. Now, let's get started with today's webinar and welcome Dr. Jimmy Chang. Ah, okay. Hello. We're done. Hi, ah, guys. It's me again, Jimmy Chen. Today, I'm going to uh, talk about something very, very interesting and very popular in our daily treatment, daily practice, the autism, and ADD, and ADHD. You don't have to remember all those terms and, and the symptoms within all those uh, uh, field of problem, but we can do it our way in a very interesting way and we can treat it without having to use any kind of a sedative or, or, or those anti-depression medicine. I've seen a young girl is only about 21 years old and, and, and the young boy on 17 or less than 17 years old. The doctor prescribed him and her three kind of a medicine for this emotional disturbance i would say it's a disturbance it's, i i never call them is a disease it's just a condition well can you imagine all those side effects all those so-called antidepressant and, and sedative and all those stuff it's terrible but we have our way of treating it in a very successful way but today let's start with the uh the, the autism i've been doing this uh, 
Chinese medicine for over 45 years and everything is interesting. The artisan. <laughs> okay. This <laughs> Uh, on the top, there was one draw something, right? Oh, yes, you can bring that thing over here. Yes, oh, this is I see this one. This is the head, something in the head, and sometimes you can say it's in the inner ear, whatever. And with this condition, that must be some dead blood inside the patient. This young boy or the elderly people or something in the head. So that might be the reason for his being artisan or ADD or something like that. And see the pointy area here? This is the OCD. This means the guy is very stubborn and very narrow-minded or whatever. But he, this kind of person can be very, very smart in their own field. But this... But certainly some dead blood that might be the reason for any kind of uh, artisan or whatever it is. So the our treatment will be based on the things we find on the ear, ear point. Ear point is easy to, to, to detect, but the pause might be a little bit tricky about making all those proper diagnoses. Okay, let's get on with the next page. Okay, the reason I'm putting this picture here, I am watching, I am watching this uh, program in uh, Netflix. It's very, very interesting. I, I suggest you should watch it if you have a time. It's a TV series about eight uh, seasons or something. This guy is a very, very typical, a very severe case of artisan or whatever. He's, he's very stubborn and very, he has thousands of a phobia in his life, but they make him the best detective in San Francisco. He has a special way of solving any homicide cases. It's very interesting. You should look at it. Then you'll be more familiar with this kind of problem. You will see, I'm sure you, you have encountered them every day in your daily practice. I do. Okay. This monk guy is very, very interesting. Artisan, so what, 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 what's artisan? More related social interaction and the ses sensory processing. The sensory can be explained, um, in my uh, experience, I know is some kind of a hypersensitivity. Very sensitive person. It's very difficult to work or, or live with or, or, or associate. And the ADD and ADHD primarily involve issues with attention and behavior control. You will see, how do I differentiate all those problems? Actually, I do not, I never relied on their symptoms. No matter what they they told me something, oh, I have this, I have that. I just follow my system and my result and my conclusion to deal with whatever the person might have. What kind of a, a symptom is not so, so, so important. But the nature of the problem is what we be focusing on. Huh? Okay, again, in this case, oh, no, I'm sorry. This area is OCD, obsessive compulsory stuff. This is still pointing. And again, you see, there's a blood stagnation in his head, or might cause little uh, vertical eyes. I've seen, I, I saw a lady with the, uh, she was in hospital in Taiwan and uh, she was bleeding. My student asked me to take a look at her. Why she's bleeding? Because she was given some medicine for vertigo. And what kind of medicine did the doctor give her? It's supposed to be some, some kind of blood thinner to remove the dead blood like this in the head. That's their way of treating vertigo. But those medicines cause some severe bleeding through the vagina area. And uh, the lady passed away before I can prepare some medicine to stop the bleeding for her. That's it's a lot of pity. But anyway, 
the basic root is the same, the blood stagnation. And we are going to use a lot of uh, blood movers in our treatment. I will explain to you today. You'll, be, you'll find it very interesting. I'm sure you have all those herbs in your uh, in your pharmacy. A long, long time ago, when I first in contact with those kind of uh, blood movers, like a chef who Zhu Yu Tang, I read it from an ancient book from Qing Dynasty. And that the guy, the, the Dr. Wang invented it, says it's good for all kind of uh, uh, craziness, cuckoo, emotional disturbance, sleep, the, a sleeping problem. And, and, and the, the, those medicines, the, the herb was invented about how many? 100 years ago? But those people in China, the dynasty still have those kind of problems. And that medicine, Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, I didn't think so much, it's not reasonable for curing the, the most emotional disturbance or sleep or something. But gradually, more and more, I find out that is really making a lot of sense, the Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang. And afterwards, after several years of practice, I noticed that this is the best explanation for treating all those mind problems. Huh? Again, you can see uh, all those things, the circle, this is the inner ear and the neck and shoulder, and this is definitely the head. Those people have the problem I was uh, I talked about earlier. See that? Just like the previous picture. And this is the head, the head, the head, the head, and the neck and shoulder. Why I bring it here? Because the neck and shoulder can be a key point, a breaking point of treating any kind of a mind problem, any kind of sleep problem, any problem of uh, personality or uh, so-called artisan or things like that. So neck and shoulder, can be a breaking through point in addition to treating the head. So please bear that in your mind. Sometimes the problem comes from the neck and shoulder, the pressure there. Huh? That's what I do every day and very successfully. I encounter a lot of people, you know, craziness and stuff, but I, the, I have some real good weapons for that. You will see. Okay, now be, before we start anything, that the main differences between autism, ADD, and all those are. <laughs> the differences, first we'll have to know the differential diagnosis is first, for the artisan, I think the pulse is like this, very, very weak in the middle, almost like a autoimmune system. The, the guan, left guan area is very, 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 very weak, almost invisible. It's depression and the autoimmune decision. They, immune system, they, they're all connected. This patient can be very, very tired, no motivation and no desire to work or study or something like that. And ADD, I don't even know what their definition was, but ADD is primarily characterized by inability to concentrate. And the, the ear, uh, the pointing ear, that's the OCD we mentioned earlier, but the guan area is deep, sunken, but a little bit forceful, not so weak like this one. So this is what we call anxiety. And also you might say it's the liver chi or liver blood stagnation. It doesn't move. So all the, the problem that the uh, the patients, the, the 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 mind is so inward. He, he's kept he kept everything to himself, to his own world. He won't share with other people. So that means he, he is having difficulty communicating with other people, just like the, the uh, guy, the monk, the monk. In that move, in a TV series, 
I, I suggest you should take a look in from uh, Netflix. And this one is even worse. So obviously, everything is inward. I have a, a essay in uh, USC. The, 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 the topic is the uh, treatment of affective disorder. And affective disorder have a lot of uh, categories and, and small items, but majorly it's inward and outward. Outward means he's so making annoying and, and causing trouble to other people who he communicated with or he lived with or who worked with. But inward, the negative part of affective disorder is something like this too. Everything inside, he do not disturb other people. He just kept everything to his own and making his own world and he lives in your own his own world and become a very difficult, also difficult to work with or live with. So this is the my my kind of a definition.